So we've been discussing some of the underpinnings of the work that we've been doing to make Windows 10 the most secure desktop operating system you can be using. And I, I want to show you hands on uh, what this looks like and how this comes together. So I'm going to bring up a virtual machine and uh, I'm just going to log in using the same credentials that I'm actually logged into the physical computer with. So uh, just get this set up. Uh, so if we have a look here, what I've got is on the left, I've got my host. On the right, I've got my virtual machine. Uh, these are both logged in with my, my account, uh, Ben, uh, on the same domain, uh, both running the same version of Windows 10. Uh, the only difference between these two is if I look at system info on the host, you're going to see that I have credential guard enabled. So I have hypervisor based security uh, protecting my credentials. Whereas if I look inside the virtual machine, um, you'll see I don't have credential guard enabled. So just plain standard, uh, the story we've always had. So let's get rid of that. And now what I'm going to do is I've got a security tool here, uh, Mimi Cats, and you'll notice that I'm opening it up as administrator in both environments. And uh, not only that, let me uh, grab my directions so I don't make typing mistakes. Bring that back up. I'm going to uh, grant this process debug privilege. So this is pretty much a worst case scenario. I've just launched a process as administrator and it has a uh, debug app access. So this is now a process that can access any portion of memory and do pretty much whatever it wants to the system. Um, and let's see what we can do. So this command is going to uh, kind of hijack the uh, Windows uh, LSA module and try and find my credentials. So let's see how it went. Remembering system on the left with nice little green background, uh, we have credential guard. System on the right with the red background does not. Um, so scroll down, we've done, given ourselves debug privilege, we've got login password. Um, first thing we see is the credentials from my interactive session. Now, if we have a look at the system with at credential guard, you can see, hey, look, here's my NTLM, here's my SHA-1, here are my credential hashes. And this is exactly the information that a malicious program can now use. It can replay these uh, credential hashes to you know, establish sessions under my uh, user context on remote servers and start getting access to resources that only I'm supposed to have access to. But if you look over here on the credential guard side, you'll see that instead of getting the NTLM hash, we've got this unknown key. And this is actually the data about how we talk to the secure partition that's running the LSA. It's not, you know, it doesn't contain my keys in any way, shape or form. It is just the, hey, if you wanted to talk to the LSA and it trusted you from its secure partition, uh, here's what you have to tell it to get uh, it to authorize you. So there's nothing that a malicious program can do with this. Um, if we scroll further down, there's my credentials again. Um, Here's an interesting one. So this is the machine account. So we found the machine account for this uh, machine. There's its uh, hash again. But even worse than that, if you look, there is the Kerberos password uh, for the machine account. Nice auto-generated password. Uh, if we go and we look down on the, the side of the system that's protected by Credential Guard, here's the machine account for this. So this is CG Demo 1, CG Demo 2. Once again, my hashes are protected and also my Kerberos password. So there's no access to that. So the great thing here is we've now built an operating system, which when you enable credential guard, even if you know, someone is successful in getting an administrative program running in this environment, either by exploiting a flaw or by just using social engineering and getting someone to, to double click on a program that they think is an installer, uh, they still can't get access to your credentials. They can't do bad things uh, with your system. That confidential information is still protected. That's pretty amazing. It makes Windows 10 uh, the most secure desktop operating system that you can be running today. And uh, it's pretty exciting to be able to say that.